Hello and welcome to Minicom Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix your backspace key not working on your Windows 11, Windows 10, or whichever version of Windows that you're using. Okay. And um, so, like I said, if your backspace key is not working, okay, and then you're trying to figure out why it's not working and how to fix it. I'm going to show you how to quickly do that. In my case, I'm using Windows 11, but it doesn't matter if you are using Windows 10 or any other version, it's supposed to work. I'm going to show you particularly for Windows 10, as in my case, and also for Windows 10, sorry, Windows 11. I'm using Windows 11, as you can see. I'll also show you, in case you are using Windows 10, how to fix the problem, okay? And at the same time, I will also show you how to fix backspace key problems on a Word document, okay? So over here, as you can see, I have this Word document. And um, initially, the document was actually a PDF, and then I opened it as a Word document. So after I opened it as a Word document, I noticed that um, the paragraph just got broken like this. If I try to shift this particular paragraph back to its original space, it doesn't make any move. So if I click the backspace key, you'd notice that nothing moves. Now the question is, what do I do to bring it back here? Somebody may say, maybe we should cut and paste or whatever, try it and all of that, it never worked. So after showing you how to actually fix the backspace key not working problem on your windows pc windows 11 or 10 whatever i'm going to show you after those conditions are verified so if you are setting and sure that you know the backspace keys are working or it's working sorry if the backspace key is working however when you try to uh, draw your text or shift your text backwards it's not working then i'm going to show you how to fix it particularly in Word, because what happens on your Word document does not necessarily have anything to do with your backspace key not working, okay? So, first of all, let me show you how you can actually verify whether your backspace key is working or not and how to fix it, okay? So to do this, you will have to actually um, switch off the sticky and filter keys of your keyboard. Okay, now uh, switching off the filter keys or the sticky keys on your keyboard uh, depends on which version of Windows that you are using. Like I said, let me show you first of all how it's done on Windows 11. So on Windows 11, you simply have to come and click on the Start menu here. Okay, by clicking on the Windows button here, the Start menu, and then you go to Settings. Okay, now when you come to settings, you come and click on um, accessibility. When you click on accessibility, you simply, you see that we have several options here. Simply scroll down till you find keyboard. Now click on keyboard. And then when you click on keyboard, over here you would find what? Sticky keys and then filter keys. So please kindly make sure that sticky keys are switched off if you find them on like this way you switch it off and please also make sure that filter keys if it were if they were on then you make sure you switch them off just switch it off like this and then you can now close this dialog box and restart your pc to see whether the backspace key will be working now let me show you how to uh, switch off the um, the sticky keys and the filter keys on your Windows 10 PC. In my case, I just showed you I'm using Windows 11, so I showed you how to switch them off in Windows uh, 11. But in case you are using Windows 10, it's also very simple. It's almost the same procedure, just that in Windows uh, 10, it will be better you come to the search menu here, okay, and just come and type uh, is is um, ease of access. 
sorry, ease of access. Okay, now when you type ease of access, so like I said, this is Windows 11, that's why the option is not showing up. But okay, even we have here, you see, when I type ease of access, even in Windows 11, you can see accessibility keyboard settings. So if I should click on that, in your case, you're not going to see this. Okay, you're going to see rather when you search ease of access, you're going to find ease of access in Windows 10 as a, an icon or whatever. And then you click on it and then it will take you to um it will take you to where we are here so you see that when i click on it even in windows uh, 11 it brings us to your accessibility keyboard whatever so you have your sticky keys here simply switch them off switch the filter keys to off close this dialog box to restart your pc and i hope this works for you now let's see what we can do on a word document how do we take back this space here as i explained to you if i should put a cursor here and try to switch uh, to press on the backspace key nothing moves so what do i do i can continue doing this i don't know how many times i will have to press before i can shift the text back so in a word document what i usually do is that i use the paragraph marker so i simply click if you click on the paragraph marker here then it shows you all your paragraphs and then like i said this problem is a problem with paragraphing for me it happened because the initial document was a pdf document and i opened it as a word document so after that some of the paragraph got broken as you can see and the only way to fix this problem now after like i said make sure you just click on the paragraph marker on top here and then to to take back or to delete so what happens that you have to see that over here what the word i mean your word document is trying to tell you is that there is a paragraph here so whether you like it or not there is a paragraph here and the only way to take to take this space is to delete the paragraph so to delete the paragraph simply select the paragraph marker that is here okay just select it i know it might be hard but left click and hold and select the paragraph marker and hit the delete key or the backspace key now once i did that it deleted the paragraph and you realize that the text that was down has come to take back its original space and then i even used this method to show you in my previous videos how to even delete a blank page in word so after you do this simply click on the paragraph marker again to make do with the paragraph markers and it's done thank you so much for watching and i hope this helped please subscribe bye